No, I do. Okay. Something like the Wagus, which is this idea of a celebration, a get together where people talk, make, drink, eat, do all that sort of thing. It's just really struck me and accord with me. I see so many faces um, here today for the first inaugural Wimbles Ways Goose. What a mouthful, Wimbles Ways Goose. <laughs> Every element of the book has a role in telling its story. The paper, the inks, the materials, the images, the texts, and the binding. Creating an artist's book involves a series of questions. Sometimes an artist will call on the skills of others, such as paper makers, binders, or typographers, to find a resolution. The book is the final answer to all the questions. Fred corresponds with his father, talks to him about using his formula, and Fred T. Wimble certainly established as the pioneer ink manufacturer in the country at that time. Uh, they're part of a very distinguished pastoral family. They were more interested in collecting properties and horses and sheep than books and art. Which is a panorama at Sydney Cove. And it's after a watercolour that if you pull them apart and sell them the prints separately, they're more valuable. In 1788, there was a small wooden hand press, which would work very much like that Albion press, but made of wood, arrived in Australia on the Port Thirst fleet. Unfortunately, no one knew how to use it. <laughs> and while we watch this, just think about what fake news has become and what it means is to walk down the street and see the people who print the news. You can talk to them, they're part of your community. So I think that's why the Dorigo Gazette is still viable. Basically when I was 12 I was obsessed with art, loved art, and it was all about one man. My, one of my um, grandparents gave me a book on this guy and I fell in love. Dozens of these, but the main ones that you'll find anywhere the ones with the no on it, open type is the most common these days. Um, the next one with the two T's on is known as a true type font. You may have heard some of these font formats. Come and have a drink and we're going to have a ceremonial turning of the wheel of our new etching press down in the museum. Of the possibility of creating a sculptural object. Um, <coughs> And also in the same process, looking at the ways of using pages of different formats for, um, for either writing or drawing. And when you're actually making a book, whether you're writing text or drawing or whatever, using the format of the book and the structure of the book to help to tell the story. This workshop is designed as an introduction, it's designed around a series of, of images that have been sort of sourced as a way to um, set up a, a knowledge of um, screen printing from, from the first introduction level, pretty much. Yeah. No, no hair. No hair. You can just have good fun. <laughs> just getting used to the tools and how they work and how to hold them, and etc. And it's just plastic. If I give them the, like the good expensive blocks, they get a bit anxious and a bit stressed. This is just engraving plastic, yes, yeah, that I glue onto a piece of wood. And then next we go on to the good bits of it. Um, yeah, it's the best manure mate I've seen her do. <laughs> um, proofing chromatic wood type from William H. Page, so out of the 1800s. Um, unique opportunity to print with um, some very rare wood type. Wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Multicoloured type, so the type plates, um, each letter will then have multiple blocks. So is it practice for like all of us to, to measure every letter to try and get... I just go negative two, positive three, just to get a bit of a gauge of what they are. So it's not doing nothing. It's good. Yeah, more ink. Yes. <laughs> 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 I've just got the muck up for it somewhere around, but 
I'm now printing the pages and getting the it's getting launched in August, and I'm doing that book with the uh, really excellent songwriter called Don Walker, who's the songwriter in Colchism. Name a bit, so I got lots of great publicity and things in the media, which was really good. And he sang the song at the um, at the opening, which was really exciting. And so basically, this is like a really old-fashioned film clip. Um, F.T. Wimble was uh, an Australian pioneer ink manufacturer, but very quickly Wimble developed a large organisation where he was sourcing printing presses, printers type and a lot of the equipment for the printing trade here in Australia. However, what's in the Nuram collection, and I haven't seen any of this, I haven't seen any of this chromatic type anywhere else in Australia, let alone around the world. You can see up here on this word Wimbles, we have a white background, so what's in underneath is a solid block, and then around the outside is a secondary block that matches that first set that's then printed over the top. William H. Page, who was really doing some quite intricate um, design, Mr. Wimble then became the sole distributor of Page's type here in Australia. Stamped um, 1885, so it's quite an early model press, but to have it stamped with the Wimble name is excessively unique. from Lismore currently. Um, we both um, run um, a studio called Lismore Art Space um, where we have, um, a, you may have heard, uh, Ms Brown's Lounge, which is basically, I suppose in some ways, the collaboration projects that we do together as two artists printmakers. Way more ink, way more ink. That's a two plate etching using lime and aquatint. We've got an aquatint box which So you scratch scratch the blacks back in if uh, if I've over etched the plate or uh, over uh, scraped it. But uh, a fair bit of fair bit of scraping the whites. The white's just where where it was preserved, preserved the original plate. Ha <laughs> ha 